Hi again. Here we are to talk about JavaScript, and I'm going to continue um, talking about the shopping cart. And in the last video, we used local storage to save the cart array, and we converted to a JSON string, and then saved that to, to local storage under the name shopping cart. So the last function that we need to finish up our 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 functions here that run the shopping cart is a load cart function. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow up with this local storage thing and we're going to use that to retrieve um, retrieve the cart data. So I'll turn this last comment into a function, load cart. And what we'll do is we'll say cart, that's our variable, equals local storage, wait, uh, local storage uh, dot uh, get item okay and the item I want to get is shopping cart okay now the thing is you know if we get the shopping cart with local storage here it's going to be a string okay because remember we, we converted to a JSON string here with JSON stringify so we supplied JSON with a value that could be converted to JSON and then JSON turned it into a, a JSON string okay so here we're going to be getting a string back and what we want to do is we want to convert that string into a JSON object or well from a JSON object into um, you know an, an array and objects just like we had when we sent it into the into stringify right so what we're going to do is we're going to use json.parse so that's the other half of stringify right it's kind of the opposite so we'll say parse and then parse wants a JSON string, and so we, we have that here in local storage, so I'll have to put a, another parentheses on the end there. Okay, and there we go. So, um, so how does that work? Let's give it a try, right? What if I say, um, you know, load cart like this, right, at the bottom of my script? And then, uh, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of the um, calls that I put in for testing, right? So I'll get rid of this, right? Because we don't really need that anymore. And then I'm going to remove, maybe I can remove these two even though they're commented out. And then I'll, all this stuff here that says console, we'll get rid of. Now remember, these um, these calls here were adding and remove I removing items from the cart so every time we tested the page we our cart would actually have things in it right so I'm going to remove all this so now when we load the page the the cart should be empty there should be nothing in it right because we don't have any add to cart you know we're not calling add to cart to add things to the cart right but the thing is the last time I ran this right in the browser um, I saved the cart here with all those items that we had in the last, you know, in, in the last example, right? And now, you know, these items were generated by the add to cart method, right? Um, you know, we called it a few times and added a few items and removed a couple, right? But here, um, you know, that's all that stuff has been removed. So if we start the page, it should start with nothing, except this time what we're going to do is the very first thing is we're going to load the cart. And so it should load this data here, and we should have that same data, right? So uh, we'll give it a quick refresh there. We don't have any errors. I can't see anything here, but uh, let's let's try something. Let's try um, loading the cart again, right? What if we do this at the very bottom? You know, after we after we load the cart, why don't we say um, you know uh, var array equals list cart? Now remember, list cart returns an array containing the cart. And so if we console log this array that we're getting back, right? So list cart's going to return an array to me, and I'm going to put it in this variable array. And then over here, if I console log and display the, the array in the console, I should see an array that has items in it. And not because we're generating items here, but because those items were saved into the um, the local storage, right? And we'd be getting these items right here. So let's uh, let's try it. 
oh look, there's all my objects, right? I got one, two, three, four, five. You know, and if I was to open this up and look at them, you can see there's, you know, five apples and, you know, three pears and, uh, you know, one banana, right? You know, so I think it's kind of working there, right? So, um, so there we go. We got, uh, we got a whole shopping cart system. Now, th this still needs a lot of a lot of work to be super great, but you know, as it is, you know, if you've followed all the videos up to this point, um, I'm hoping that you're going to have a, a better understanding of JavaScript because we're using, you know, a lot of the features that are core to JavaScript that you're going to see in a lot of places, you know, the array, variables, um, objects, you know, storing objects in an array, accessing properties of an object, you know loops to loop through an array or loop through the properties of an object, okay? And then we're using functions and we're passing a value to a function and our functions are sometimes returning values. Um, let's go find a list cart down here, right? List cart returns a copy of the cart, right? So so anyway, so there we go. And, and you know, this is also, like I said, we're using local storage too to save information. So if we close the page and reopen it, you know, every time we refresh it, it'll save the cart items. And if we add stuff to the cart, then that'll be saved with the cart too. And anytime we go to another page, we'll be able to access that, right? So that's the beauty of, of local storage there, right? So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful. And then from here, we're going to follow this up with a couple videos using jQuery to display the cart on the page and add items into the cart from, you know, from a page, right, using using an interface in, in HTML with the, with jQuery, right? So that'll be our, our, you know, real test of this whole shopping cart system, okay? So I hope that's useful for people, and uh, thanks for watching.